Queen Charge Lalo is one of the best strategies in Clash of Clans. So I will show you today tips and tricks how you can master this strategy. Hello, hello guys and welcome back to my next Queen Judge Lalo video. We will start here directly with the box base. I will give you tips and tricks and tell you what are my thoughts about this plan, about the base and what do I want to do on each base with Queen Judge Lalo in my Legend League push. So let's start with this box base. It's kind of interesting because this box base was built by me one time. So um, not builds especially against Queen Judge Lalo, so I try my best approach on this one. I saw that the Yeti Blimp on this side is yeah very nice, but unfortunately I directly yeah didn't succeed with my funnel. So um, yeah, kind of unfortunate and I have to directly react. So this is like 100% Legend League what I am doing here. The Queen is running the wrong way. So I have to react and wall breaking her towards the core so that I can charge the tunnel from behind. I'm playing the king straight into the monolith using ability early so that the king gets multi arch tower that stuff and the monolith as well so that my queen doesn't have that much damage in the core. But using now the next rage spell because there are four rage ground balls in the core so very heavy for my queen. Using ability, tunnel should go down, next ground bar is going down and now I can start my Lalo as well early here into the Eagle Artillery. Royal Champion at the top to funnel for the Lalo so the 12 o'clock side is cleared by my Royal Champion and my Lalo can push straight from 9 o'clock into the early fence, now into the scatter shot together with the Headhunter now seen for the enemy Queen with a free spell so that all that stuff is frozen and yeah, the scatter shot at Queen doesn't cause any problems here for my Lalo attack. You see my Queen cleared the whole total compartment. My Royal Champion is still alive at the top of the base. I can use the ability when I want to and the balloons are still crushed here. I guess I lost like 3 balloons of 25 on the whole Lalo. So you see this base is crushed with this Queen Church Lalo. Let's have a look at another, I guess, box a ring base, so to say, with interesting dead zones around the core so that the core is very separated from the rest of the base. Um, yeah, let's see what I can do here. My plan was, like you see, wall breaking my king at 10 o'clock so that my king gets the whole ground ball compartment and creates a funnel at this side. At the same time, funneling the other side with the flame flinger so that my queen goes straight into the core of the base and, um, yeah doesn't go any wrong way like you can see. Now the queen is targeting the gold storage and should move into the monolith soon and then go straight directed to the tunnel. The flame fling at the top you see clearing out the wizard tower going towards the double cannon and um, the funnel is setting perfectly. I have to take care about the rage tower and when the clan castle comes out if there are like six headhunters in rage I have to use my spells very fast Otherwise my queen will die through her ability, but now it should be good to go. As well, very nice that the ground bow at the top is getting tanked by my queen. Otherwise the flame finger would be targeted by this ground bow, but this time here is just perfect for me. Queen and the core can take the ground bow. Now, yeah, you see it, the Tesla at the bottom pops up. So the Yetis come out of the flame flinger, but it's no issue. With the head after I can clear the enemy road champion as well. Rage my queen up in the core so that the queen will get the tunnel. Now I can start the Lalo from yeah, the bottom side. I can play my road champion from the top because there isn't much damage and I have so many spells to use. Just look at it. Two rage spells, three free spells and one in the spell when I start the Lalo. This is very insane. That have so many spells here left. Now you see, pop the hound in the vulnerability, so delay the vulnerability a little bit, and now I can use my spells here in the core so that the whole yeah scatter shot multi tower, all that stuff is crushed here. And you see it, the tornado doesn't do any difference here because this base is completely finished with this queen charge, and the queen charge get like the whole base, the whole heart of the base in the core. Now we will have a look at another box base. I will do a yeah, directly tunnel charge. Not the same as uh, with Yeti Blimp like you saw in the first attack. 
um, I decided to do your flame flinger so that I can get the mortar out and the flame flinger goes yeah, towards the ricochet cannon and creates a nice funnel for my queen for the storm heart charge. At the same time I want to funnel for my queen a bit with the balloons raging up so that I don't have to use much free spells at this time. Now clan castle already comes out using more balloons so the single funnel tower is going down without any spell. That's a nice trade here for me. The king at the top side to funnel the other side of the queen charge so that my queen goes straightly towards the multi inferno tower in the core and the heaters yeah, aren't getting in trouble. My king now clearing the ground pole like I said while wrecking him towards the ricochet cannon. I hope he will go into it so that the funnel for my queen is really really perfect for the core. Ricochet cannon is going down the king as well pops the Rage Tower in the back end here. Very nice value of Funneling King here. Now the Inverse Bill unfortunately one second too late so I have to use the Queen ability although um, but I guess it should be fine because now with the next four breakers my Queen goes into the core and can reach like all what she wants. Now starting the Lalo at 9 o'clock with the Headhunters in the Warner ability, the Hound as well in the Warner ability very important to tank all that stuff with air defense, the monolith the whole time and luring out the traps for the Lalo. My own champion now in the core, my queen survives how you can see. Now I can use my spells in the back end. The headhunters should finish the royal champion soon as well. Royal champion coming up and helping clearing enemy royal champion monolith and that stuff. And you see this base is already finished. The queen charge got again the whole base behind the tornado and the Lalo just a bit for a cleanup. Now we'll have a look at the ring base, what we will do at this one. In the core we have one Invis tower and a poison tower. So as well, yeah, kind, of, kind of interesting spell tower placement at this one. Important on a ring base as always to create a funnel for your queen so that your queen doesn't run in any ring in the base and walk the whole time and skip the town hall. You have to set a funnel. That's why I played the flame flinger at first in this attack so that I get the funnel at 2 o'clock so that my queen will walk down. This was important to play the flame flinger early so that yeah my queen doesn't go uh, yeah to the top of the base. Now the king warwicking in at 5 o'clock funneling the other side and now I can warwick my queen into the core. How you can see Swarbrick is really perfect for my queen, opens up very nice, so this should be good to go now. The king funneling as well, more towards 7.30 o'clock, tanking like the arrows, eagle artillery shots, so again, the king as a funnel is maybe a bit underrated, but the king is very insane for your queen judge ladder when you can use him for funnel, and this is what you can do every time, because you don't need your king anywhere else. Now the free spell on the Invis Tower so that the Invis Tower doesn't pop when my queen goes into the town hall. Now using her ability so that yeah she gets a bit more value. Unfortunately there are air skeleton traps that um, yeah avoid a bit more value of my queen in the core. But it should be fine. Now I let my queen die because I can't really secure her in the core against yeah a sweeper, two ricochet cannons, two scattershot and monolith would be very difficult. But now I can start my Lalo in the core because the pathing in the core for the Lalo is really insane. How you can see the balloons, how they are flying from defense to defense in the core together with the rage all those high DP defenses like scattershot, ricochet cannon are going down in like one hit of all balloons. Well, Shepard as well helping in the core. I can make him invisible if I want to but I decided to do this for the loons so that the um, yeah, balloons can just get multi arch tower, multi inferno tower, world champion ability. Now all the events should be gone soon and this is the next triple here for me. It's kind of interesting when you say okay it's good to be a queen at the core, it's okay. Um, but on this base it's a good um, option for you because then you can use your spells for the Thalo through the core and can finish with Royal Champion and the cleanup troops. 
we'll have a look at the time, but it should be fine because Alex's storage should go down as well in a few seconds. Now we will have a look again at the box space where I play a Yeti Blue. Why did I decide to play Yeti Blue here? Well, Flame Flinger is a bit difficult against the ground bow, and when I play the Yeti Bloom, I get the funnel directly. So, single Furno Tower and ground bow is going down without any spells. So, a good opener here for me and for the Queen Charge. It's well an interesting taller compartment, I guess, with the Rage Tower and the Poison Tower at this stage. But I guess it should be okay. Just have to use a lot of coconut loons because when you have such a teaser base, so to say, with the eagle completely outside, there are many traps normally. And how you can see, the balloons are finding very much traps here against the healers. So important for me to use here the healers. But um, yeah, at the same time, using the queen ability because I wasn't that careful about my queen at the same time. But I should be good to go. A king at the same time, funneling again the other side, taking out damage now on the ricochet cannon, clearing out as well the enemy queen, or yeah, just a little bit. Now, very important to use the invis on the queen, otherwise all the damage would have been on my queen, and I don't know if she could have survived this. Now, Royal Champion at 9 o'clock towards the single inferno tower. This should be going down, ground bow as well, and I can use my spells for the queen so that the queen gets the scatter shots in the core and now starting the Lalo here directly with the haze and the early one ability how you know it into the bottom of the base. Now Royal Champion helping to clear out the sweeper, Lalo can push more through the monolith now using this base because monolith is very ugly against my Royal Champion and I want to secure him or her better to say uh, because I guess it's like woman. <laughs> So, um, yeah, but that looks very good because my queen still survives. Um, cleaning out the multi arch tower in the multi arch tower in the core, the balloons here. They are helping to push through the back end defenses with the multi arch tower crown. But going down now, Warden is still full HP and the queen can clear the base. And the next triple with Queen Judge Lalo. Now we will have, I guess, the first or the second time with Diamond Base. It looks like very ugly to be honest, because yeah, the back end rage tower is really heavy with eagle with three multi inferno towers, two ground bows, and the tonal charge isn't that easy because the funnel is like mm, you can do it, but it's not that easy to handle it because you see my king is a bit too slow, so my queen gets distracted, and I don't know if she will go back. My king at the same time, okay, king and queen going to the tonic compartment, this wasn't really planned to be honest. Um, but it should be fine because now my king gets the tower. King also lures out the clan castle, but the flame flare opens up because normally the plan was that I get this ground bow early down. And now this ground bow is killing my flame flinger. So a bit unfortunately here for me, I guess. I hope the Yetis have a bit value, how you can see multi arch tower going down. The Royal Champion as well is falling, so um, yeah, the value is okay. But you see, it wasn't really planned in this way. Now it's important for me to secure my queen because, yeah, she doesn't have ability anymore because I already swagged kind of the ability. So um, it's a bit more challenge here for me, so to say. Royal Champion at the bottom for yeah, multi arch tower, arch tower and that stuff, so that I have an, as well a funnel for my Lalo at 9 o'clock. My queen getting both sweepers in the corner, back end, a scatter shot as well, and now running back to help my royal champion against the rickshaw cannon, vulnerability there, and now I can yeah use the free spells in the core, so that yeah my balloon survives against the multi arch towers, and now you see no traps in the core, and yeah, the multi arch tower is just getting crushed here together with the warden, the life gem, and um, yeah, Diggy Sun as well on the multi inferno tower in the core. And the next triple against this very ugly looking diamond base. Now we will come back to a box space where I will do as well a town hall queen charge with a flame flinger. 
you may would be scared by the crowd bow here at the scatter shot, but this I I just take care of both that this X bow is the whole time on my queen and my flame finger can clear the crown bow in this time, so it shouldn't be any problem. Following the other side with my king as well, I have the war because to use so um yeah for my king as well so that my king gets like the scatter shot enemy but or champion so um yeah just let's see how he will do you see at nine o'clock the flame finger goes now towards the ground bow my queen yeah takes the ground bow the whole time my king here now going inside ground bow and clearing out the scatter shot as well so um yeah Flame Flinger survives, now can target the scatter shot, so this side is funneled perfectly as well. The king did a great job taking out the ground post scatter shot and enemy world champion. Clan castle timing is fine as well with the early poison spell. The ice golems aren't that fast, nearly my queen, so um, I get the monolith before the ice golems are yeah, coming towards my queen. And now it looks like okay, it's only just the back end with two spell towers here. But I guess my queen should lose the poison tower very soon, so um, I don't have a poison tower against the Lado, which is very nice all the time. So um, yeah, just have a look at my Lado. Here now early vulnerability as well to secure the hounds, to secure the balloons in the beginning. Unfortunately this tornado trap is very ugly for me, because without the tornado trap the multi towers would have go down very very soon and very fast. But now the balloons were stuck there and I have to support my world champion to push through this whole setup. But together with the fox and the free spells, this should be fine as well. The balloons outside to clear out the air defense and this is the next trip that works for me. With the town hall charge, the Lalo wasn't that clean like I said. Against the well placed tornado trap you follow the defender but it's yeah, doesn't make a difference at the end of the day. So now at the last attack we will have a look at this ring base with one invis tower in the core and when this pops the complete core is invisible. Okay, how can you hit this type of bases with Queen Jashlado? Well, mostly you will have a great flame flinger value on this ones and you can charge one corner as well. I you can see here, while breaking my queen into the scatter shot and multi furrow tower compartments and uh, uh, single for a tower compartment, sorry, and um, yeah, this should be fine as well here. Together with the frozen arrow, I don't need one more spell for my queen, so this is completely down here as well. Now I can lure out the clan castle because the clan castle isn't in the core here, so um, yeah, should be fine that I can kill the clan castle troops with my queen. You saw as well the flame flinging at the top, luring out the invest tower at 12 o'clock tanking a bit, so the Rukisha cannons at the top together with the multi arch tower should go down as well. Now it's important so that my queen goes in any way towards the town hall. It was important to blow out the clan castle because then my king doesn't have to fight it and I can war break my king into the yeah, monolith warden and that area so that I have a funnel for my queen in the core. Then you will pop in the core but you have to react with your spells on the queen so that she goes um, yeah, the right way and can clear the core there. So, 1 minute 20 left of flame thing opens up at the top, should be fine. Now my queen redirects towards the core. Now the invis will pop, unfortunately the king isn't visible for my queen, so I'm using my queen ability. Now the king is visible for my queen and the queen will go back towards the core so I can use the spells for the queen in the core so that you get yeah, all the stuff with Town Hall, Eagle, Sweeper, Grump off and so on. Our champion as well coming in to help just my queen to get all this value here. Next right on it because I can use the spells where I want to. The Lalo doesn't get, don't have to get that much to be honest. I have the Hound now, the Headhunters against the enemy queen. Now the vulnerability. Unfortunately the hound isn't in it. I don't know, this was very very close. Um, but yeah, with the three spells and that stuff should be crushed in the back end. 
So thank you for watching. I hope I could help you with this video and we will see you again in the next step.